Hi everyone, this is an exciting time. Before we were so limited when shooting with high-end cine equipment. No, I'm not talking just about film cameras, but also cameras like red cameras. It was so difficult to move them around without having a big rigging system. But now, we have this new exciting product that will make everything lighter and easier, without compromising in camera choices. My name is Marcel Brando, and I'm giving you guys a quick look at the new June Crane 3S gimbal. Let's go! First, we got the gimbal itself. Easy sling handle. Tripod feet. Quick release plate. We got two sizes of screws on there. One quarter and eight over three. Batteries, the same ones from before. Battery charger with USB Type-C connection. Some rods to attach further modules. Easy sling relocation plate. Camera riser plate. Lens support. Extension arm. In this box, you will see a bunch of different types of cables. One will be definitely in your specific need and also some of them for components. Beside that, there are additional screws, tools for your extension arm, and also a sticky cover for the extension arm cable protection. First, we take the tripod legs and attach them to the gimbal. At this moment, if you order the Dreaming Crane 3S or Crane 3S Pro, you can attach the smart sling handle here. Specific functions of this smart sling handle will be explained in another video. But if you purchase the Dreaming Crane 3SE, just follow the next steps. Now we take the easy sling handle relocation plate and attach it with the tools provided in the box onto this part of the gimbal. Attach your easy sling handle and use this lock to lock it. When almost tightened, go a little bit over and then backwards, and when you hear a click, you can be sure that it's locked safely. Now unlock these two axes and put them into this direction so it's easier later to put on our camera package. Now attaching the batteries. First, we unlock this axis and move it out of the way. So now we can open the cap of the battery compartment. You will notice that there's a little red rope down below. Make sure the rope is under the first battery, which is on the lowest side. Then attach the other two. Make sure you have it roughly placed like this so you can later also detach the batteries easily. Let's put on the cap and put the axis back. Now to the camera package, we will have to attach some modules on there. First, a quick release plate. Choose your right screw and fit it on. In this case, you see that the lens is scratching on the quick release plate, which is not that good. Therefore, we first put the riser plate on there. Then we put the quick release plate. Followed by attaching the rods and the lens support. Okay, before we put on the camera package, make sure you have the camera set in a way that you're gonna also be shooting with. So for example, make sure the lens cap is off, the ND filters are on, the cards are inside, and also of course the battery. Otherwise, it will throw off the balance significantly. Okay, let's put on the camera package. Let's unlock this part to give it more space. Camera is coming in. You hear a click. That means the safety lock has been just engaged, which is perfect because now your camera is safe. We lock it roughly in place here. Now before we go for the balancing, I'll quickly show you guys where you can attach accessories. Now as we can see, this gimbal offers a lot of mounting points, which is nice to mount things such as a little shotgun mic, or a little LED light, and also monitors, etc. Alright, now we've finished the build and understood where you can put on the accessories. But about the balancing, we'll show in the next video. Also, when you try to order one of these Durian Crane Street S gimbals, you will see that there are three choices on the website. So which one should you choose? This one I'll also explain in the next video. So definitely make sure to subscribe and follow up with these tutorials to get more updates. So see you in the next one.